Hey, it's Tanya again, and we're now doing divorce hack number nine. So number nine is protecting your credit rating. So if you don't know what your credit rating is, it's a score that you're given to help financial institutions know whether you are a really good prospect to lend to or not. So what happens is throughout um, your life, you every time you buy a car or you get a you know you get a loan you get a mortgage you get a credit card you might even buy an apple computer on high purchase every time you do all of those things you get a score or a rating and that's how a lender knows if you're someone that they should be lending to or not currently here in australia in march 2016 we've um, the government board in positive credit reporting. And that means that when you pay things on time, you actually get a positive mark on your credit report. Now, if you're late for one month paying back a bill or something, on your credit report, the lender that is looking at your score will be able to see your behaviour. So they'll be able to see whether you're one month, two months, three months, or in default on some form of payment. So say you've got a credit card and your repayment is due tomorrow and you don't pay it for a month. What will happen on your credit report? It will have a one. So at the moment, in today's environment, banks are going through people's credit reports like you wouldn't believe. They're looking for this positive credit reporting and they're making sure that people have really, really good behaviours. So because of APRA and what is happening in the financial markets and people being lent money that they really can't afford, the bank is making sure that people have really solid credit reports. Now, if you want to get a copy of your credit report, you can easily get this. If you put it into Google, there's a whole lot of companies that do it for free. We do it and it's $10, I think, to get a credit report and it's comprehensive. It shows things like what companies you're a director of, what, how many mortgages you've taken out or how many times you've applied for credit. And the biggest issue I see with credit reports, and it's something that people really need to be mindful of, is every time you apply for a credit card, it will have it on there. It will also have the limit of the credit card. But a lot of people, what they do is let's, for instance, say you've got a credit card and it's got $3,000 on it, and that $3,000, it's maxed out. And there's an advertised rate of a new credit card and it says if you transfer your whole balance over to our credit card, then what will happen is there'll be no, um, no interest for, say, a 12-month period. So people will quite often move from credit card to credit card and they'll show these behaviours. So they don't ever pay down the balance of the card, but what they do do is they think, well, well, I'm not paying any interest. What the banks are looking for when they see this behaviour, they can see that all you're doing is, is shopping this around year after year, but you're actually not doing anything to pay down the principal on the debt. So it's really important to make sure that if you have a credit card to protect your credit rating, that you don't swap them around. And if you do change from, say, something that's got a, um, let's say, a 15% interest rate on it to a no interest credit card that you make sure that you cancel that other card because that's behaviors that I often see as well so someone will change to a new credit card but rather than cancel that last one and chop it up and throw it away they keep it open so they pay they transfer the total of say the three thousand dollars and then they've got a new credit card with a zero balance but now all of a sudden they've got another three thousand dollars that they can spend and it just gets them into financial difficulties now, the same thing happens with bills like I was speaking to you before about on um, where we're talking about divorce hack number one with your amenities bills and things like that. If you are not or you're late paying, they even have the ability now to, to mark your credit report. So you want to make sure that you pay everything on time, that you're keeping um, the banks and the institutions well and truly aware of what's going on because you want to protect that credit rating as best as possible. Because when you start your new life, if you are independent and you want to borrow money, you want to make sure that that credit um, report is protected as best as possible. That to you, that is like your firstborn child. You need to make sure it is pristine and looked after because it can cause awful problems if you need to get a loan later on. 
if you've got a really bad credit report, say there's a um, you want to get a, a mortgage and there might be an interest rate like there is at the moment of um, uh, 3.54%. If you've got a really bad credit report, they will put a risk rating on your mortgage and you might have to pay anywhere between five and a half to six and a half percent because you've got some really bad behaviors on your credit report. So by protecting that report, it means that you can um, borrow at a better rate and it also means that you've got more chance of getting money when you need to, whether it's for a car or something like it, like that. The other thing to be mindful of is um, telcos and that. They will always check your credit report before they give you a um, whether it be, say, for the NBN or a new um, phone contract, they will also be checking your credit report just to see what that looks like. And even some businesses now are asking for a copy of your credit report. So please make sure you protect it. You need to make sure that it is, is pristine. And if you've got any questions, you can send me an email at Tanya at Tanya Somerton and I can help you out with credit reports. So that is Divorce Hacked. Number nine.